during a flare up, this stuff would be very calming and very soothing and really awesome to try out. So what's up my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. I'm super excited to bring you today's video because I know that there's not a lot of quality products to put on the surface of your skin when you're trying to naturally heal some sort of skin disease like eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. For the last 30 days, I've been using a brand new skin health product that's got a little bit of a strange twist. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use the product on a daily basis. And I'm gonna give a super honest critique about this product at the end of the video so that you guys can have a really good idea if it's something that you might wanna to use to naturally heal your skin and to use for the symptoms on the surface of your skin as an amazing daily product. Stay tuned. This is not a paid review. I am not making any commissions on the sales of this product. This is strictly just a review based on me interested in this strange new product and wanted to give it a try so that the skin health community might have a brand new tool to use because there's not a lot out there. So the products come from nose to tail. One of them is like a moisturizer for the whole body. One of them is a soap. And then I don't generally use lip balm, but I thought I'd give it a try anyway because a lot of my clients like to, especially ones with issues with their lips, a lip balm. The way I found out about this product was pretty straightforward. Uh, my buddy Brian Sanders is the owner of nosedetail.org, which is an animal-based company that provides really healthy cuts of meat and just well-sourced products based from animals. And I saw that he had put out a skin line and I was like, and here's where the twist is of the product. It's a skin health product based from tallow, which is rendered animal fat. So I was like, Hmm, putting rendered animal fat on my skin. I have had a few clients that have tried out straight up tallow. They actually really liked it. I've never tried it. I've also never tried it in a form of a product. So I was very interested and I had a look at the ingredients. They are all perfect and amazing. So I was like, let me give this a try for 30 days and see if it's suitable for the skin health community. So let's get into the ingredients because they are really awesome. The first one is called Skin Food and this is the one I use as my main moisturizer. It has grass-fed tallow, avocado oil, organic jojoba oil in it. So the ingredients, tallow-based with the other few little oils put into it. Um, so that's product number one, that's the ingredients. Product number two, the bar of soap. The ingredients are grass-fed tallow and olive oil. So again, two ingredients only, ultra simple. And the ingredients for the lip balm, again, avocado oil, um, grass-fed tallow, beeswax, jojoba oil, coconut oil, and a little bit of castor bean oil. Um, again, very simple. I don't use lip balm often, but I did during this 30 days just for the hell of it. And my review for this one, when I get to it, is a little, little funny, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Skin food, I would basically use anywhere on my body that needed some moisturization. If I had a little bit of dry skin on my arms or I needed some on my hands, for me, generally, what I was doing with this and what I do with my moisturizer on a daily basis is I put it on my feet because my feet get dry and I put it on my face and scalp because I've been shaving my head lately and I need a little extra moisture up there. So every day I've been shaving my head and putting this all over my scalp and all over my face and all over my feet. The handmade soap, pretty straightforward. Every time I took a shower, I was just using this stuff all over my body, lathering it up and just allowing it to do its magic. I did use the soap on all parts of my body, my face, my armpits, my crotch, my butt, my feet, all of it. The lip balm, so the lip balm was probably the one I skimped on the most just because, like I said, I don't use it much and so I forgot that I even had it and I forgot that I was even using it or trying to use it half the time. But every day I did at least put it on once so I think it gives a pretty proper 30 day review and every time I thought about it, I had one of these in my car and one of these in my house so every time I saw it, I would just walk past it and wax them on. This was the only one that I was less consistent with but I still did use this every day. The other two products I used exclusively and absolutely nothing else. No other moisturizers, no other soaps, no other lotions, nothing. Okay, and now I would like to give my critique about the products. So I'm gonna start off with the absolutely only negative about the products. And it, this could only be a negative from certain people's perspectives. I don't 
mind the way that it smells. I actually really like the way that it smells, but some of the people that I'm around did notice that it had a bit of a slightly animal or gamey smell at certain times. This already has a little bit of jojoba oil in it um, and it has a little bit of avocado oil in it. What I did to absolutely eliminate that is I just added the teeniest tiny bit of coconut oil to mine and mixed it all inside of it. And my coconut oil that I have right now has got a good fragrance to it so it smells like coconut oil. So that issue of all of these products and only the one that has that slight smell is the skin food. Like I said though, it's not an issue for me. I don't mind the smell because I've been eating animal foods and cooking with tallow and using that stuff already so the smell is a good smell to me. It's not a problem. I think Nose to Tail could easily in their next batch or their next round of these fix that. Um, and also 90% of people I think are not going to care at all. I didn't care, most of the people I was around didn't care. There was only one person who mentioned it. She has a very sensitive nose, so I took it with a grain of salt. And, but I just wanted to give you guys an honest critique. That was the only negative thing that came up. Which two products I would get if I was you guys, I'd get the soap because finding a good quality soap that has that relaxed and simple of ingredients that also cleans your body and does the job, doesn't dry your skin out, makes your skin feel really good after the shower, is imperative to healing your skin, especially when you're flaking and you're itching and you're going through all the symptomatic issues that you have with eczema and dermatitis and psoriasis. A quality soap, one that doesn't toxify your body and one that nourishes your body with animal foods, your body is gonna get heavily nourished with these fats. So the soap is absolutely awesome. So I give the soap an A++. The skin food I give an A to, not an A+, but an A, only because of that one slight, somewhat interesting thing to one person of the smell. Again, to me, the smell is fine. Here's the qualities of this stuff that you guys will like. It goes on super easy, it goes on super smooth, it doesn't leave your skin super greasy. I have it all over my face and all over my scalp right now. I put it on right before the video, and as you can see, I'm not overly shiny. It just gives my skin a nice, even glow, and I really do like this stuff. Obviously, I don't have flare-ups and I don't have skin disease anymore, um, and, but I do think that during a flare-up, this stuff would be very calming and very soothing and really awesome to try out. So um, I do recommend both the soap and the skin food for all of the skin health sufferers out there. I do suggest to try it out, pick you guys up some. Again, I'm not making any money off this, I'm not selling this. This is just something that personally I was interested in, wanted to give it a review, and the review passed the test. Let me review the lip balm, even though it's just lip balm. The lip balm went great. Um, I will say that my lips are more soft and subtle and juicy than normal. They also have a slightly nicer color than usual. I do think it's because I was using lip balm every day, which I never do, and I might start, whoops, might start using it on a daily basis or here and there, just because my lips look better and they feel really good. And if I ever end up kissing anybody, I think they'll enjoy this stuff too. So I give this an A+. Um, I give the whole product line an A+. And I think that overall the ingredients, how it feels going on the skin, and the way that it just looks and feels is absolutely amazing. I think everybody with psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema should try this product out and it may be one that could be your staple product and replace all the other over-the-counter crap and all the other stuff you've tried. So. Head over to nosetotel.org, um, give it a look, give it a try. Um, check out Brian Sanders' work too. He does a lot with diet, a lot with lifestyle, a lot with just farming stuff. He's also got a documentary coming out called Food Lies, which is awesome. Last thing about awesome Brian is I've done a really good interview with him. It's about a year and a half old. If you guys wanna look it up, I'll, I'll link it somewhere, um, but it was a great interview. He dropped a lot of knowledge, so give Brian Sanders some love, check out his work. Also, A plus to these products, give them a try yourself. But that's gonna be it for me today, and that's it for the review and the critique for the Nose to Tell Skin Health products. They're tallow-based. And that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to leave all of your comments and questions down below. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients and sign up for some coaching, there's a link to my website to get my coaching offering. Also, there is a link to the Three Phases Workbook, which is my step-by-step -step guide 
for naturally healing the skin. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I'm putting up a lot of information there. There I'm Stuart, Rob Stewart. Anyway guys, much love. I'll be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.